Yo, what is up, Latin Proud Crowd? Hopefully you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. So, I'm in the barn right now with the two-wheel drive first-gen build, which we are actually preparing to launch momentarily. I ordered all of the parts, as you saw in yesterday's upload, or not yesterday, two days ago at this point, probably. Um, you saw the upload that uh, I did get everything ordered. I kind of gave you the rundown on the new goal for the truck, just kind of like, which is basically just taking it back to my original goal after I decided I wasn't going to beat the crap out of it and just uh, basically throw it away. Um, we are actually, we're going to do a build with it. So that's what, that's what we're going to do. Um, compounds, injectors, of course, governor springs, valve spring, I mean, all that stuff. So um, we're going to do all that, all that stuff. We're going to intercool, put in 7.3 power stroke intercooler on that. All that jazz. You guys saw that video. You guys know what we're doing. Um, but anyway, so today we're going to work on not installing parts necessarily, but we're going to be ripping down some stuff that's going to just have to come off anyways um, to make the job easier once all the parts start to come in because we do have some parts that are going to be showing up within like a day or two from the time you see this video um, but we also have some parts that aren't going to be in here for about a week but we are going to prepare nonetheless because the trucks plenty out of the way so we can still use the barn we can still pull another truck in if we have to or we can get the mower out stuff like that um, so it's not really anything that we have to worry about and not to mention with this brand new 2018 which is up for the giveaway right now but this is my daily driver currently and holy smokes is it a blast to daily drive this thing um oh my goodness <laughs> it's it's a lot of fun so anyways guys real quick let me brief you on the giveaway in case you're stopping in for the first time or maybe you're a long time subscriber but you just haven't watched a video in a little while this is my brand new 2018 laramie longhorn 3500 mega cab may i add uh four wheel drive uh cummins diesel and it's actually for the giveaway right now so every 15 dollars you spend whether it's you buy a license plate a decal you know you get the, one of the wristbands or you know whatever there's t-shirts hoodies all kinds of jacuzzis and coffee mugs and all this stuff anyways um every 15 dollars you spend is another entry to win either this truck this brand new and still has factory warranty and everything it's a 2018 it's not not been deleted or anything just in case somebody wants to have that warranty and not have to worry about any kind of random bills the first couple years they own it uh, but anyways or you have the option between that or that five speed four wheel drive first gen which is now fully intercooled and all that jazz which beautiful beautiful truck uh, both are beautiful trucks it's just a matter of preference you want something that's the latest and greatest the fanciest you can get or do you want something that's old school classic just going to hold its value and go up um, it's just kind of it's really just a matter of preference um matt's a little bit dirty like i said i've been daily driving it but just beautiful beautiful truck guys I mean, all the leather dash stuff, all the fancy gadgets. Of course, yes, it's four wheel drive, it's push button start. When you start it up with the key fob, if it's under a certain temperature, it kicks on your heated seat, your heated steering wheel, your defrost and everything automatically. Um, I mean, guys, this truck is just, it is beautiful. Just look at the wood grain trim back there. Heated seats in the rear too. I mean, this truck is just a beaut. It's hard to keep it clean, but it is just beautiful. These back seats do recline, of course, because it's the Mega Cab, so they recline. Or if you're not into the reclining back, they do fold forward, giving you all that space if you want to stack stuff up on a nice level surface where you have a bunch of storage back behind here. Beyond grateful to be driving this right now. But uh, you guys know, those of you guys who know, I, this is a big part of what I do. And a big part of what I do and the success that I have is giving back. You know, if you want to go big, you want to get big, you got to give big. And I am a firm believer in that. It doesn't matter um, what you're doing, whether it's sponsorships and you're not sure if you should sponsor or you should be, you know, a little bit sleazy and, uh, you know, not take care of the people that you're working with. You don't want to do that. You got to give big if you want to go big. And I, I'm a firm believer in that. And so um, the truck giveaways have done a lot for me and uh, making me able to dump money into this truck and, you know, finish my dad's nasty red build for him and buy my grandpa truck like that's that's my goal is to just be able to give back and give back and give back and do more and uh, that's why we do the giveaway so all that being said down in the description there'll be a little portion that talks about how to enter all that stuff very easy well boys and girls let's get to tearing into this truck right now
Okay, everybody, so it has been a little while since my hands have looked like this. Okay, but it feels good. It feels good to be back, uh, back in the workflow of things and back into the videos with the build content because, of course, that's what you guys love to watch and see. So um, let me just give you a real quick rundown on what we actually did. Um, you, some of you might not notice it. A lot of you guys might. Um, all I did is I took the intake off the top. I loosened the band on the turbo, rotated it down just to make sure it's all loosened up and good to go for when we um, have to take it off anyhow to put it on the new manifold and for the compound turbo kit. Um, I basically cracked all the fuel lines up on top on the injectors and the little banjo bolts down along the side. Took the intake off, like I said, took off the bracket, the mounting plate, the one along the side here, which holds this assembly up. And I just took a little bit of a string here and looped it up to here to hold this up so it's not, you know, uh, straining anything and hanging down super low. So, um, that's that. I obviously, obviously, you guys know I took off the grill and I took out the air box and the air intake, the factory air intake. Pretty easy. There's just one bolt up here and then there's just a clip that kind of clips right down there and it just pops, pops right off. So not too bad. We are going to KDP tab this truck just to make sure we don't have any issues there. Um, but we're not going to do that tonight because it's getting later and I've got uh, got some things to do tonight yet. Um, uh, we got the exhaust system taken off the truck fairly easy because this does have a new downpipe coming with the new compound turbo kit So downpipe took that off and just set the whole system right there for the smokestack um, Just so it's laid out and easy to go and that's not going to be very hard to hook back up once I actually get the new downpipe and then mount that up It's just gonna be easier if it's out of the truck versus laying under there trying to you know piece it together to make sense so um, that's going to be pretty easy to go back together when we're ready. And I ripped all this apart, I think, in, a, I don't know, 30 minutes. Um, so I got the downpipe off, turbo loosened and rotated down, cracked all the bolts, banjo bolts in the fuel lines. I mean, got off the intake. A few other things. I got a handful of things done. Um, but this is just as far as I want to go for now. And I also did make an observation that I don't know if the twin intake is going to work or not. reason for that is... The fuel lines on this, obviously, it was a second gen style intake, which would have been fine with my original goal of P-pumping the truck and stuff like that. But if I'm not going to be doing that, then the second gen style um, Banks twin intake might not work on this application. So I might have to cancel the order on that one and just get like a, um, a big single one and make that work. Because I don't know if it's the same on the second gens, but I feel like on this truck, it's more centered than on the second gens. I don't know if that's accurate or not, but right here I feel like it's in a, a very central location right between the three, um, right between all six cylinders. It's right in the middle there, but I don't know if that's just me or if I feel like the second gen ones were a little bit more like lined up with the third one back from the front. But anyways, all that aside, I might have to uh, arrange that order just to make sure we don't have issues and then we're shipping parts back and back and forth. and. All that jazz because that's just a lot of fun. First day working on this truck. In the next video, we should actually have parts in and we can kind of show you what we got coming in, what we've got worked out, and we're going to be fabbing up a couple small things to make the intercooler, the 7.3 Power Stroke intercooler work on this truck. And just, just a lot of other stuff, but that's all going to be explained and gone through when the videos, when the parts come in and then the videos are being made on those uh, particular installs. We're officially in. I mean, we are into the build and it's going to be. It's gonna be a lot of fun. A 400 horse, three, well, let's just say 325 to 400. I don't know exactly what it's gonna be, but I did all the research to get parts to make about 350 to 400. Um, you know, by the time it's all said and done with the lift pump on and all that stuff, you know, to support the fuel mods. But all said and done, it should be a fast, fun 350 to 400 horse truck, and I'm super, super excited. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Don't forget to enter the Longhorn giveaway because of that truck could be yours for $15. So go to the website. Down in the description is the um, information on how to enter that giveaway. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new, join the team, join the family, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.